All right, you are welcome to Day Tooth Academy, where we are devoted to building academic excellence in students, especially in the STEM subjects. In our video today, we are going to be looking at how best you can order your questions whenever you are answering your theory exam papers. Okay, now generally, your period of study will eventually culminate in an exam that you need to take as a student, and the exam can be maybe an oral interview, it can be an objective test, it can be a subjective test. Or it can be a theory paper exam in which you get your biro and you write out the solution to the questions that are being asked. Now, these theory papers normally come with the option of answering some of all the questions that are being asked. So, the student will need to pick the particular set of questions that he or she will want to attempt. In order to address this, you need to first glance through all the questions so that you can have an idea of where the questions are being asked from. If you have done your homework well, you would have known your core strengths, your weak areas out of all these topics. Now, we don't expect you to be talking about weak areas because Day Tooth Academy is devoted to building academic excellence in you as a student. And we have solved a whole lot of past questions. We have done a whole lot of tutorials. Our resources are available for you to prepare for that academic excellence. So if you have been using that, you should not be talking about weak areas. You should have developed your strengths in that maybe you can be talking about preferred areas and less preferred areas okay and if you are here to subscribe well that's the reason why you need to go ahead subscribe to our channel so that you can also build proficiency in all these topics that we are talking about so once you have identified the preferred areas the preferred topics that you want to go at then it will help you to take the right approach to pass your exam in excellent color now the key point to know is that you should make sure that you order your answers in such a way to present the ones you are proficient in first. Make sure that the first set of questions that you are answering are questions that you can take money to the bank on them. You are very sure that no matter what the examiner is going through, no matter how he or she is feeling, looking at the workings that you have done, looking at the solution that you have proffered in your answer paper, he or she is going to fall in love with you because you're actually creating an impression and first impression the last long. You are not there, you cannot explain to him, you cannot explain to her, but whatever it is that you have written down is what he or she is going to use to form an impression of whether you're a bright student, whether you're a serious student, whether you know what you're talking about. So make sure that your very first attempt is something that you are sure about, okay? Examiners normally have a lot of papers to mark and if at the first glance, you appear non-interesting, you appear as if you don't know what you are doing, the examiner may want to quickly move on and check some other exam scripts. So, those questions you are sure about should definitely come first. Don't be stereotyped to answer the question sequentially, the order in which they are asked. For example, you are asking number 1A, number 1B, number 2A, number 2B. No, 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 no. You don't need to do that. Don't be stereotyped. You only need to remember to write down the question numbers in the order that you attempted them in the space that is provided. There will normally be a space provided for you to write the answers in the order in which you answer them. Don't forget to do that. If you forget, that may be costly. Now, personally, I love to draw. And because I believe pictures speak a thousand words. So, if I can illustrate my interpretation of the question, I will go for such questions first. So, if I'm looking at the list of topics from which the questions are being sourced from, say for example, in the WAEC mathematics exam, the theory paper, I will first list out the topics from which the questions are being sourced. Then I will prefer to answer questions that are involving diagrams because I can easily use my diagram to captivate the examiner. So, I look for questions on bearing and distances, angle of elevation and depression, circle theorems, vectors and graphs i love graphs so much i generally don't advise that you attempt construction problem first okay now you can push that to later but if it's graph that is something that you may want to check out so i believe i'm proficient in all these topics that i've listed and i can use the diagrams to also captivate the examiner you have to come up with your own list but i hope you get the gist now our tutorials at Dave Tutor Academy are done stepwise to help students understand how to tackle these problems while showing detailed steps, detailed diagrams, and calculations with calculator tips all along the way. So, 
if you are looking for a way to answer your questions, that's how it has been iterated. Just go ahead, learn from what we've been doing in our lectures, okay? Go through the theory exam papers that we have treated. Look at the way that, especially the ones that are involving diagrams, look at the way diagrams are presented. Look at the interpretation of the questions. Just make sure that you attempt first those questions that you are sure about because first impressions, the last one. If there is anyone that you are not very sure about, make sure you push them to the later part, okay? Maybe the examiner may even be thinking that, oh, time is against you, that's why you're unable to finish it. But those ones that you are sure about, make sure you do them first. And with that, we believe with your diligence, with God on your side, with all the efforts and the labors you are putting into your academics, your academic excellence is sure. And we want you to just go ahead, subscribe to our channel, like the videos, share with your loved ones, share with your friends, and we trust that together we can build academic excellence in students in the academic subject. It's Day to Academy, and until next time, God bless you.